Hey. How do you describe Tough Mudder to people that really are not into exercise in any extreme form? Well, let's start with what it's not. Okay. What it's not is a race. It's a challenge about teamwork and camaraderie. Most people do it together, and the truth is, even if you're not in great shape, you can probably get through it just by working together as a team. It's 12 miles of military-style obstacles designed by British Special Forces. But most of all, it's fun. And it might not sound fun to you sitting here in the studio, but it really is a ton of fun. And we have 60 events all around the world this year. And you've got the credibility to put this all together, right? Because you have a background in the military. Well, my background is as a civilian counterterrorism officer, but I work very closely with the UK Special Forces in my old job. So the aim with the Tough Mudder is to try and recreate that sense of teamwork and esprit de corps that you really only find in the military. And you put that all together in an environment that's fun. You give someone a beer at the end of it. Was the challenge starting Tough Mudder convincing people that this thing would really work as a, as a business? Mm -hmm. Because I read that when you were getting your Masters of Business yeah. uh, at Harvard, mm -hmm. that you put this forth as part of the proposal to try to garner some support. Didn't fly. But that's exactly right. In fact, my professors were pretty pessimistic about this and said, well, you have to go and get yourself a job at McKinsey or Goldman Sachs because this isn't going to work. And fast forward five years, two million people have done the event. And we now have a dedicated research lab creating all these new obstacles each year, which is one of the reasons we're here talking today, because we have a whole bunch of new obstacles that we're launching for 2015. Okay, now if you were going to put some of those Harvard professors that turned you down mm -hmm. through the new course, yep. what would they go through? Well, what would they go through? So yeah, those, what were some of the yeah, obstacles? So we would have a king of the swingers, so that's a drop, 50, you jump, climb 15 foot up over a pit of water, you swing forwards, you have to grab a trapeze bar, and then you swing on that, and you have to try and hit a bell in the air. So that's King of the Swingers. We have Ring of Fire. You go up a fireman's pole. You drop down through a ring of propane gas. It's about 150 degrees as you go through that thing. If it doesn't burn, it's perfectly safe, I assure you, into a pool of water underneath. And then we have Crybaby, which is an obstacle that takes elements of tear gas, mixes that together, creates a very disorientating experience for you while you're going through it. But most of all, you put these Harvard Business School professors together. It's about teamwork and camaraderie, and they'll all be forced to work together and put their egos to one side for a short period of time. How do you think they'd do? I think they'd get through. They'd have to work together, but I'm, I'm joking aside. I mean, most of them are in reasonable shape. I'm sure they'd be just fine. All right, and they would probably want to go for that beer at the end. Well, that's right. You get a, a free beer at the end. And this year, it's a shock top beer from Anheuser-Busch. So we've just signed that uh, deal with them. We're very excited by that. So they, they're sponsoring our whole post party afterwards. So you get a free beer at the end of it, which is what it's about as well, because you can't take yourself too seriously when you do a Tough Mudder. It's about enjoying yourself. It's about being with your friends. It's about challenging yourself. And then it's about having a beer at the end. All right. So uh, it's the challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's new sponsors. Yep. It's new obstacles. Yep. It's also new markets for That's Tough right. Mudder. Yep. So we're going into Mexico this year. We have three events down there. We're also launching the Urban Mudder, which is a five-mile event, um, which is our first uh, event will be this summer here in New York at Randall's Island. So we have a new event. We also have a children's event, the uh, Fruit Shoots Mini Mudder for 8 to 12 year olds. So we're enhancing the children's experience and the spectator experience. So there's a lot of new things going on at TMHQ. We're very excited. What, uh, what does it cost to be a Tough Mudder? So if you sign up uh, now for the events this summer, it's going to be as little as 80 to 100 bucks. If you wait until just before the events in six months' time, it's going to be more like 200 bucks. All right. Now, as part of our desire to get to know you a little bit more, I've got some questions for you, sure. Will Dean. I want to find out what's your favorite book. So my favorite book is uh, Catch-22. I think it's a great book. It's a satire. You know, it talks about some of the uh, paradoxes of war. It's a, it's a great book. It's a, a read, and I've read it twice. It always makes me laugh out loud. All right. So when you're done with Joseph Heller, what about television? What's your favorite TV program? So uh, uh, House of Cards, you may be aware, is actually a remake of a British show. So my favorite TV show is the original British House of Cards, which was 15, 20 years old now, but it's still as good today as it was then. Uh, there, was a, there was a drop at one point. Someone dropped off a whole building, and that That's thing, right. That's yeah, like so the he, tough mudder yeah, thing. He, yeah. he, he pushes her off the top of the House of Commons, yeah, actually. Yeah, that was, that was risky. All right, so what about a role model uh, for Will Dean? Yeah, so uh, James Dyson, who's the founder of uh, Dyson Vacuum, who's obviously gone on to invent a whole bunch of other products. A rare thing, a British entrepreneur. There aren't that many of them. He's a guy that had an idea. It was 10 years of a side business for him, and he's turned it into a huge global business now. It's a pretty remarkable guy. Well, you're joining the club with this. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing to you is that your hobby. Got a favorite so, hobby? Yeah, so, you know, I've taken up kite surfing now, or kite boarding, as you say, in the United States. And I recommend it. It's a ton of fun. You need wind. Um, and uh, here in New York, you need a very thick wetsuit to do it as well. But it's a ton of fun. 